hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com Beardy man, that's me. I is the beardy man. So, what I just thought I would do today is test to see whether or not I could make a video and record the audio on a separate tablet, record the video on the iPad, and then mix them both together on the iMovie afterwards, and then have this as my Let Me Bore You To Sleep recording. So welcome to Let Me Bore You To Sleep. This is jasonnewland.com, la la la. Only listen when you can safely close your eyes. So that's the plan. And I've noticed because now it's now eight o'clock. Is it eight o'clock? Yeah, Andre's scratching at the door to go out for a walk. He doesn't realise he's not gonna go out. You wanna go out, Andre? Hey Andre, you wanna go for walks? He's found something to Go for a walk. Oh, there you go. Everyone wants to see you, Andre. You're the star. Mm -hmm. Give daddy kisses. So, um, as you know, well, if you watch or listen to me regularly, you know I don't normally make videos anymore. But I also know that there's a lot of people that listen to me that want to see this little boy. Yeah, look. You've got to say hello to all your friends out there. I would mention your names, but there's too many of you. There's just, he needs his, I think he needs his fingernails cut. Look. Hey. <laughs> What's he sniffing? Not a bad little picture, is it? Um, it was better about 10 minutes ago, but as it's starting to get darker, it's the picture's sort of reducing. So... There are ways I can do that. I can get some lights and stuff. Mm. Hello. Mm. <laughs> you give daddy kisses. Yeah, as long as I as long as I forget where that tongue's been, I can give you kisses. When I started remembering what you were doing with that tongue earlier, then I started to get a bit grossed out. Mm. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> By the way, he likes being upside down and all around because he's he's very bendy. Right, don't you? So he's natural. If I go like that, naturally he goes down like that for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, you do, don't you? Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's not bad. Look at his little wet nose. It's not a bad little picture, is it, on here? I love you, man. He wants to go for a walk, but I can't be bothered. It's not that I can't be bothered, but I had to go to the shop to get some bits and I can't go shopping with him. Right, he wants to go. Wave goodbye to everyone then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
goodbye. <laughs> He's just sniffing. <laughs> I wonder if you can actually see the screen. I don't know. It's gonna go down, go on in. See you later. So there you go, that's little Andre. Um, so yeah, I was, um, lemon fly, look, that one fly. He's been hanging around for, I don't know, about four or five days. I'm trying to catch him, trying to bang, like, where are you? But he's hiding from me. It's just like, it hides and then suddenly when I make a recording, when it knows I can't kind of get up to chase it, it appears. It's my impression of a fly. I don't know if you can see this behind me. Oh, let's have a look. That's my name. That is, God, this is a weird setup. I've got these leads and everything everywhere. Um, that's my nanny Newland, and that's me. That was about 1994, I think. No, 94, 2004. I do have hair there as well. There she is. That's her, by the way, isn't it? That's not her. That's her. Hmm. So there you go. I'd like to get away. It actually is in the background, but I'd like to kind of have her in the background of all my videos. But anyway and have her in the background of this one by putting her there. No. <laughs> I could just hold it. No, it can just go there. So yeah, um, it feels like a Sunday, but it's a Monday. And I was watching on the TV um, Dominic Cummins was being interrogated on television about his lockdown. Um, I don't know what he did during traveling and stuff. I felt a bit sorry for him because they were just really going into it, you know. And I also started to think, well, you know what? They're giving him so much hassle there's so many people that are just doing whatever they want at the moment. They're not, you know, they're not going by the guidelines. So, you know, perhaps they should. Uh, and also, you know what? Right at the beginning of this uh, interview, and he sort of read this statement, there was someone in the background. It sounded like they were pl playing a horn or either bibbing their car horn or doing some like playing some or or orchestra instrument bagpipes or something orchestra and I was thinking wouldn't the police be able to do something about that maybe and my friend was told that he was too far away from live where he lives um, and he shouldn't be shopping in that supermarket the fact there's no supermarkets near us to be able to get that stuff. All we've got is a little shop that doesn't sell much. Doesn't sell frozen food. Doesn't doesn't sell the stuff that you that we need, you know, sort of on a, a monthly basis. And he said you're too far away. This is the closest supermarket. <laughs> and I think he's gonna get a fine. Why couldn't that police person go and stop the person who was doing the bagpipes? Because that was really annoying me. I was watching it and the bagpipes in the background. But it was just a, rep it was a repeat. So I guess it possibly wasn't bagpipes, probably some horn or some 
some like repl replay in the same um, tune, if you could call it a tune. And you hear people in the background shouting and demonstrating and stuff. Like, come on. Just stop it. Just for an hour. I'm trying to listen to this. Just for me. But they, uh, eventually, I think someone did stop them. I mean, I wanted to go to London and stop them, but of course it's too far away to go. And, you know, I just, we're not allowed to go to, am I allowed to, yeah, we are there, oh, we are allowed to go to places. You know, I don't even want to go to London, but now I do. Or rather, I didn't want to go to London, but now I do. I didn't want to go to McDonald's, but now I do. I, I rarely ever eat in McDonald's. In fact, it's something that I will eat at, uh, as a last resort due to being really hungry. So it's not something that I would normally do. But I really, really, really want a Big Mac or a quarter pounder with cheese. Just because it's been so long since I've had anything like that, it's since what? January, maybe? February? January? I know it's not a long time, but it's a long time when you can't do something. It's not a long time when you don't, when you can and you choose not to. But when you can't do something, that's when it's a long time. It's just, uh, I suppose it's a, like having a bath. You know, it's, it, it's not really a big issue. If you don't go out anywhere, you don't see anyone, you can have a bath or you can not have a bath. But if you've got no hot water, you want to have a bath. But then I suppose that's because you can't wash your hands and you can't just have like a, a wash. But it's something about it, like not having any heating I want the heating on now, but it's the middle of July. I don't care. I want the heating on now, but we're going through a heat wave. I don't care. The heating's not working, so I want the heating on now. Now. So yeah, I um. Another reason I'm doing a video, I'm doing this sort of videos because. I think some people get the wrong idea of me when they listen to me. Um, now you can see me on video, you, you're not going to want to meet me. So that's, that's good. <laughs> I stopped anyone from wanting to sort of have romantic ideas about me. I don't think anyone's going to look at the video and think, wow, <laughs> now I want that. Now that's the man. I always wanted someone with a scraggly beard. Look at it. It's ridiculous, it kind of, oh, I like having a beard, but the question is, would I go to a job interview with myself looking like this? I don't mean t-shirt, but, um, you know, my hair and my beard, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, not even if it's an interview for something that I didn't really care about. I would make sure I would trim my beard, I would get it all smart and tidy and you know I wouldn't be turning up like I don't know an extra on I don't know some I don't know I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna finish the sentence but yeah I'm not gonna so yeah it's 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 been good but I want to know one thing, so I'm, I'm clearly back to front on the screen, which I don't really understand. Because this should say ferret, the crazy ferret man, guy rather, and it's back to front. Unless, like if I do it the other way, turn the camera around, um, I think I can connect it to the phone so I can see myself on the phone. 
to make sure that I'm in the right place. So maybe I'll look at doing that. And it might be a bit a better picture and it might be the right way. It might show me the right way around because it is I'm kind of opposite to what I'm supposed to be. Because this would be like looking Yeah, it would be like looking in the mirror. And it's not supposed to be like that for the viewer, is it? It's supposed to be really like you're looking at me, like how you would. Not as if, you know what I mean. Do you get me? Do you know what I mean? Do you get me? So, um, had a few messages, I will read them out. As I do. Let's have a look. Um... Okay, so what did I have? Here's a quote, here's what I had. See Rachel, that's from Rachel. Just had the weirdest dream. Andre had got into my house. How would that happen? Maybe the scratching at the door led to my house. Next thing, he was chasing me and biting me. I was wondering what what earth I was going to do to stop him. Um, them teeth hurt. Then you appeared as if from nowhere and rescued me from rescued me in the end. Okay. Well, I did sort of mention this, but uh, he would never hurt anyone. He never has. Andre has never bitten a person, not like properly bitten. That's a little nibble, but that's his way of uh, discovery, experimenting, sort of finding out what it is that is, what it is, you know? Sort of like bites a little bit, sniffs. His eye, he doesn't really, use, he does use his eyesight, but his eyesight's more to get to where he's going and kind of, you know, I mean, he hasn't, he hasn't got like a little wick, little white stick or anything, but he's, he's, he just tests it. The only person he bites, other than me, and he only does it with me, usually when we're playing, fighting, he doesn't do that very often now, as he's got older. He occasionally, like a few weeks back, he started getting a bit aggressive. And that's because he wasn't getting his own way. And he can't always get his own way. Like he's frustrated now because I've not taken him out for a walk and I can't be bothered. Although it's still light outside. I mean, blimey, 25 past eight, it's still light. I mean, this is summer, isn't it? We're in the summer. <laughs> it's weird, 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 weird. And I might take him to the park later, I don't know, see how I feel. But right now, I can't, just can't be asked. So he'll have to make do with just doing what he does in here. Mm. So what else? I yeah, he bites my friend, but he's he's it's his uncle, and he, he's known him for since he was a baby, and he lets him be. Uh, bite hard. I don't let Andre do that to me, but he has. It was kind of his own fault. But now Andre's used to it and whenever he sees him he goes to, to bite him. And he bites hard, he really especially like the inside of the finger and stuff. Now he will do that with me sometimes, but if I say gentle, I don't have to point your finger. But if I say Andre, gentle. He does. He go. He stops, or he continue, but he'll do a little bit less. In the hope, I probably that I've forgotten that I said gentle, and then he start doing it hard again. But when it comes to feet, he can't control himself. Um, he just can't. He really loves feet, and it's the smell, and it's not about the. I mean, I said that to my friend. Is it? As soon as he smells your feet, he's going to be after you. So he came up here without any shoes on. And he said, my feet don't smell. I've just had a bath. I said, no, I'm not talking. It's not that your feet smell. It's just that your feet smell of feet. He loves feet. 
I mean, if anything, he likes clean feet better than dirty feet, which is weird because he's a dirty little thing. But he's not that fussy. He loves feet, but he goes more for my feet when I've got out of the bath than he does before I get in the bath. If that makes sense. So like, I take my socks off before I get in the bath. I always find that's useful. And I, he doesn't, you know, he kind of, he wants to go for them, but he's not that, he's not that excited. But when I get out of the bath, try and put my socks on, he goes for them, really. And it's annoying because sometimes I'm actually getting ready to take him out for a walk and he just doesn't leave me alone. He's like, Argh! he's biting my feet and my toes. He's just really going for them. Or my socks, you know, it's really, he's annoying. That's what I'm trying to say. He is annoying. <laughs> so Rachel, he wouldn't bite you. I've had a few, not a few, I've, I've had a, a few women round here that he's met, a few women that he's met that I've known. And he does, he goes for the feet. It's only three things, he, well, four things if you class them as two. But he does go for the, the chest area. He likes to lick them, I don't know why. Well, I can understand it, but I mean, I don't know why he does it, because it's a very different area to the feet, isn't it? But another thing, you'll go in your bag. So I think out of the out of the boobies and the feet and the bag, he'll go for the bag first. So there's something that he loves about bags. So if you came here and you put your bag on the floor, not a good idea. Even if you had your feet out, I was gonna say your feet off, even if you had your, I don't know actually. Mm, it's gonna be a toss up. It's going to be a toss up uh, over your feet or your bag. It won't be. It won't be tossing up over your boobs. It will be. It will be on your. Definitely go. I think your bag. I think you'll go for your bag. Um, as he does anyone. So anyone that comes in here, whether it's shopping, whether it's carrier bag, whether it's a handbag, whether it doesn't matter what it is, he wants to get inside, and he wants to delve. He wants to look. And uh, he's basically a little bit of a perv and a thief. And yeah, he's, he's just pretty much all around nasty guy, really. <laughs> just horrible. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little bit of a sneaky, he wants to have a little look. He wants to see stuff. I don't know why. I've never seen a handbag I wanted to go into, ever. I don't know why, I just, I've seen a couple of people empty their handbags on the table and I decided that I like, no, I'll never want to, no. I've always worried that if I put my hand in a handbag, I'd lose my hand because they seem to be, considering even like, you know, former parents of mine, they've been, it's not a big bag, but the amount that they contain, it's like a TARDIS really is just it's like some kind of m magic trick you know when someone the magicians put a, a little bag or a hat on a stool and they keep going into the hat and pulling out stuff like a rabbit and then an elephant and you know sort of a child or you know whatever they keep putting pulling more and more stuff off and they they pull off a a man they pull, pull a, a man off out and it's, it's like, how do they do it? It's only a little hat. It's magic, isn't it? So I guess the, the carrier bags, or not carrier bags, the handbags have got a similar magical quality. Hmm. Hmm. I'm starting to really go grey on my hair. My hair is just, it's growing back weird. Because grey hair is not the same as normal hair. It's a different texture, different colour, obviously. But it's it just has a different 
It's almost like it's not real hair. It's almost like some of my hairs are a bit disabled. They're a bit, um, I don't mean that in a rude way, I mean it just they're not, I could sound, like, I could sound rude, couldn't it? But what I mean is, they don't, that's another reason not to make videos, because it's hard to edit, much easier with just audio. Um, disabled, okay. No, I don't mean disabled as in, I mean, I'm disabled, not physically, mentally, unfortunately, but uh, my old class is disabled. I've got disabled bus pass. And I've, what are you doing, Andre? He's licking my slippers. What I mean is, is that they don't have the ability. Um, oh, I was going to say they don't have all their faculties, and that's not what I mean. They're, maybe dis that's not the right word. Disabled is not the right word. Um, disformed, that's probably not a good word either, is it? But unformed, the same as um, like a normal hair. Oh, I shouldn't use the word normal now, should I? Oh dear. Um, 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 <coughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Something. I'm going to have to take Andre out for a walk. Perhaps I should just make this... Um, I might just stop this recording and see whether or not I can edit it and see if it works. And if it does work, I don't want to make videos of myself though. I really don't. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. No. I can do a whisper one. That stupid ferret is winding me up. Andre, you're winding me up. Doesn't stop, it just doesn't. He's like constant monkey. He can't. He's he's great. Honestly, he's just like what? Oh, anyway, fuck off.